What is up everybody? It's Lawrence again. So the Nike Air Hirachi was designed by a man named Tinker Hatfield and released in 1991 as a running shoe. Uh, probably not something we would do today. Air Hirachi was created around the idea of have you hugged your foot today? And it was relatively new innovation in terms of using things like neoprene and things like that within the upper itself so that it was tied onto your foot. Whereas in the past, if you look at the Air Force One, uh, the Air Force One, the Nike Air Maxes and everything else, most things were made out of a mesh panel with leather and things like that, which were much heavier. And so this allowed the foot to be shaped and stretched with a kind of neoprene-like material. And here it is, without further ado, in a blue and Aurora green colorway. And so it draws inspiration from that 1991 release. So let's start with the upper like we always do. Looking at the shoe itself, there are several materials that are utilized here. The neoprene that's done in the black near the end of the booty over here is uh, is pretty typical Hirachi. And so this is over here. There's a nice little pose tab here as well. And then kind of going over to the paneling, there is an overlay done in a, I believe it's synthetic leather. I would actually be pretty surprised if this was real leather. Uh, there's a blue over here. And then there's random nylon strings for the lacing system that's done in a white, a teal, and a black, and there's alternating colors as you can see over there. And then in addition to that, the very front of the shoe is done in a mesh. What's highly noticeable right away besides the neoprene material as well as the synthetic leather is this plastic paneling over here and this plastic paneling over here, which is done in that teal color. It's a very nice thing, and there's also a teal um, Nike swoosh here in the back. Moving over to the medial side, you're going to see just the paneling over here done in that rubber. It's a very, very durable rubber. Reaching over, you're going to see another black leather panel done in here, and that reaches over to the very front of the shoe. And then there's an oval with an O, and it kind of has the mesh bottom in the middle of here, kind of like a donut. You have a flat style lacing system, and it's done in a black, and then there's also these dots done in lines that are hits of 3M, which is also kind of cool. Moving to the back of the shoe, not much to notice here, except the fact that there is a nylon pull tab, and then also there is a relatively chunky piece of 3M that's over here. And so if you shine a light on it, relatively cool in terms of if you're running for that type of purpose so that people can see you. Um, over to the top of the shoe, this is something that I probably should have just done a little more research on. Um, there's a little shiny kind of medallion over here that's done in a blue color. What exactly is, and I don't know the answer to this, but what exactly does this symbol mean? It's been on every single Hirachi since the beginning of time, and so I'm sure there's significance to it, but I'm not exactly sure what. Moving over to the midsole, the idea behind this midsole is to modernize the midsole, and so they have a very similar look to the Nike Hirachi, and so you can see those dimples done all throughout over here, as well as kind of the lines that you'll see all throughout here as well, that you'll also see in the Nike Hirachi, and it's also known for that specific uh, type of midsole. The difference is that they've made it a much lighter midsole. Not exactly sure what type of midsole it is, but it would have been really sick if it was React, but it's not. Um, finally, moving over to the bottom of the shoe, you're going to see black as well as white. And then finally over here, there's the translucent Aurora green. And at the very front of the shoe, it's probably going to be a little hard to see in the, in the camera, but it says T-I-N-F-L which stands for there is no finish line. And that's been kind of a theme of Nike Hirachi through the years. The one thing I haven't talked about is what else comes in this box. There is actually a little pin and that little pin says, have you hugged your foot today? So much like the marketing campaign that happened in 1991, they're continuing that tradition by giving you a pin. So what's interesting about the color scheme of the EDGE is that this is based on the Hyper Adapt that was released about a year ago. If you don't know what the Hyper Adapt is, the Hyper Adapt was the first ever self-lacing system for any sneaker. What are my thoughts on this shoe? Very simply, it's a modern take on something that does not look like it in any way, shape, or form. I actually was kind of surprised. While I do like the design of the shoe quite a bit, I think it actually looks pretty amazing, especially kind of that, that, that top-down view with the with the 3M lacing and uh, kind of the different paneling that's all throughout. So I do really like the shoe in terms of design, but it's not a shoe that I would think I would ever add to my rotation. Normally, I'm okay with hard shoes when I'm working wearing stuff like Common Projects and things like that. But when I'm wearing a shoe that looks like this, I kind of expect much more comfort out of it. And the, the sole itself, you can see it's pretty inflexible, even though it has flex grooves uh, in the outsole. The other thing I don't like about the shoe is, the, the other major piece is the upper. Um, 
it's okay. There, there's nothing wrong with it, but the uh, the collar over here makes it really hard to get onto the shoe, which is actually pretty typical of Hirachis in general, So, but they didn't improve upon that by any means. Um, everything in the material here is really soft, uh, but I really kind of wish they kind of just use another neoprene panel up here. I'm not a huge fan of this 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 kind of mesh. It's not the worst thing in the world by any means, but it's it's nothing to write home about, and I personally like the neoprene panels. And finally, the last thing in terms of what it looks like is I really wish it kind of just looked a little more like the Hirachis, these kind of like rubber things that you can see throughout, look more like it like kind of came from a modern NMD than it really did come from a Nike Hirachi. You want this type of silhouette, kind of very sleek, a little bit futuristic, but also relatively and supremely comfortable. I would actually go with the EXP X14. Uh, I feel like that's one of the most underrated shoes in terms of comfort for the year. And so if you're looking for something that looks pretty similar to this in terms of silhouette style, um, that is a pretty, pretty darn good shoe to go ahead and go after. In terms of sizing, I would definitely go true to size. Um, I do have a little bit of room and it gets pretty narrow here, but in terms of length, it's, it's pretty good true to size and I don't, I wouldn't go half size down. I think you would actually get your, your toes crunched. If you have a really wide foot, I would definitely go half size up because it does get a little narrow towards the front. And that's it guys. Until next time, this is the Nike Hirachi Edge EDGE done in a hyper adapt colorway. Peace.